We've long believed that diamonds are the hardest material in the world. In fact, they are extremely useful and perform true miracles. They cool expensive electronics, cut the toughest materials, and withstand extreme temperatures. But diamonds also have many weaknesses. Natural diamonds can shatter in specific directions. And, most importantly, these precious stones are extremely rare and expensive. This is true to this day. In 2025, Chinese scientists finally succeeded in developing a super material that is much harder than diamonds. Imagine armor for tanks and aircraft that is impenetrable to shells or shrapnel. Knives and cutting tools that don't bend even after decades of use. Trains that travel at super-fast speeds without their wheels wearing out. Spaceships that can easily fly to Venus and withstand the enormous pressure and heat there. Soon, travel to the most distant planets will be a reality for humans. Sound like science fiction? But it is already a reality. And today you'll learn not only how this technology turns science fiction dreams into reality, but also how it will soon change all of our lives. China has succeeded in producing not just an extremely hard stone, but an entirely new form of carbon with a different crystal structure. While ordinary diamonds are assembled into neat cubes like Lego bricks, this new material, Lonsdaleite, has a hexagonal honeycomb-like structure. And it's precisely this pattern that makes it such a powerhouse. But here's the interesting part. This material was discovered in 1967 in a meteorite that fell in Arizona. For 60 years, scientists argued over whether it was truly a separate substance or just a defective ordinary diamond. Some labs said yes, others no. There were scandals, retractions, and scientific disputes. But none of the world's leading researchers was able to derive any practical use from this amazing discovery. And then, in 2025, Chinese scientists from Jilin University and Sun Yat-sen University have put an end to the debate. Not only have they proven the existence of Lonsdaleite, but they have also discovered how to create it. Crystals measuring up to a millimeter and a half, large enough to be seriously tested. The results shocked even the researchers. A hardness of 155 gigapascals, as hard as an elephant standing on the tip of a needle without breaking. That's 40% harder than natural diamonds. The material remains stable at temperatures up to 1,100 degrees Celsius, much hotter than lava. But what's most surprising isn't even its hardness. This material has another property that will soon change our entire technology. Your laptop overheats, the processor slows down, and the fan roars like a jet engine. Half of a gaming computer the size of a refrigerator is made up of cooling systems. Google's data centers consume as much energy as a small country, and a third of that goes to air conditioning alone. Now imagine, diamond heat radiators that turn an enemy's heat into an ally. The computer runs at full power and stays ice cold. The supercomputer can easily fit in a suitcase. Data centers are three times more efficient. Diamonds conduct heat five times better than copper. That's the difference between a garden hose and a fire hydrant. However, until recently, this was just a fun theory. Diamonds were expensive, scarce, and impossible to make anything practical from. Now, everything is changing. Coinciding with the new discovery in China, a quiet revolution has been taking place in South Korea. A team led by Rodney Roth of the Institute for Fundamental Sciences has achieved the impossible. They've learned to grow diamonds like mushrooms grow after rain. Previously, producing synthetic diamonds required a house-sized press. Pressures, like the bottom of the Mariana Trench, temperatures like the Earth's interior, and weeks of waiting. A tiny artificial crystal costs as much as a car. The latest Korean method is almost magical. A liquid alloy of gallium, iron, nickel, and silicon is placed in a conventional furnace. Methane and hydrogen are added, and diamond films begin to grow on the surface of the liquid metal. The first crystals form in just 15 minutes, and after two and a half hours, a continuous film is formed. Imagine, in the past, 
Artificial diamonds were created like royal heirlooms, slowly and expensively, one by one. Now they can be printed like newspapers, quickly, cheaply, and in large quantities. This isn't just acceleration. It's like replacing an old horse with a jet plane. These astonishing discoveries have already propelled all the leading nations into a new technological race. The United States is spending billions of dollars on diamond-based sensors that can detect enemy equipment from vast distances. Japan has kept its research into diamond chips ideal for building next-generation supercomputers top secret. In Russia, rumors are circulating that diamond coatings are being tested for hypersonic missiles. Why all the secrecy? Because whoever first learns how to mass-produce diamond components at a reasonable cost will gain a technological advantage for decades. It's like the invention of gunpowder or the steam engine, an advantage that can't be ignored. While politicians wage endless trade wars, the real battle is fought in scientific laboratories. The Abrams tank weighs 70 tons, half of which is armor. However, it has many vulnerabilities, optics, glass, and targeting systems. One accurate shot and a machine worth millions is instantly rendered junk. Diamond-layered composite armor is three times lighter than steel, yet capable of stopping projectiles that penetrate standard armor. Diamond armor doesn't warp in sandstorms and doesn't shatter under the extreme temperature changes. Optical systems operate even under conditions where ordinary equipment would lose its ability to see within minutes. Imagine a fighter jet with no weak points or a submarine capable of operating at depths where pressure would crush any conventional structure. The military applications of this super diamond are impressive, but the real wonders await us in civilian life. Every bullet train in Japan undergoes lengthy maintenance every 10 days, inspecting the wheels, rails, and bearings. At speeds of 400 km, wear and tear is enormous. For this reason, each kilometer of track costs millions of dollars. Diamond coatings on essential components could transform the train into a virtually maintenance-free system. Speeds could be increased to 600 km yet the rails and wheels would wear more slowly than before at 300 km. Maintenance intervals could be reduced to just twice a year. In aviation, the situation is even more dramatic. Diamond-coated turbine blades are resistant to sand, dust, and birds. An engine could operate just as reliably in the desert as it does in Switzerland. Its lifespan increases several times, but the crucial factor is reliability, meaning that planes won't crash again due to engine failure. Here's a story that will impress anyone who has ever worked with their hands. A standard metal drill bit becomes blunt after just a few hours of use. With a diamond coating, the same drill bit lasts for months. An oil well drill bit that used to last a week now can last half a year. A mining company was spending millions of dollars annually replacing cutting tools alone. Equipment downtime reached tens of hours per month. Drills and bits. Diamond coated tools can penetrate rock a kilometer thick without dulling. Failures are rare with downtime reduced to just a few hours per year. The savings are enormous, hundreds of millions of dollars annually for any large company. But all this is nothing compared to the promise of diamond technology for space travel. The Soviet lunar module Venera 13 survived a record 127 minutes on the surface of Venus. The temperature was 465 degrees Celsius, a pressure equivalent to one kilometer below sea level. Any Earth-made machine would be destroyed there in a matter of hours. Diamond panels, instrument windows, and heat sinks could operate for weeks in the Venusian Inferno. Instead of snapping a quick selfie before an inevitable death in the all-consuming Venusian flames, it would be possible to conduct intensive research on the sweltering planet and return home, Mercury where one side heats to 400 degrees Celsius and the other freezes to 170 degrees Celsius, would also fall within the scope of diamond technology. Jupiter's moons, where radiation could potentially kill a person in seconds, 
are transformed into a normal working environment thanks to diamond shields. This opens up fascinating, almost unbelievable prospects for space travel. While we admire public achievements, a real technological race is taking place behind closed doors. Lockheed Martin is testing diamond nose cones for hypersonic vehicles. Boeing is experimenting with diamond coatings for space probes. What's happening in SpaceX's laboratories is anyone's guess. In Russia, several research institutes are working on diamond optics for military satellites. In China, entire factories are being built to manufacture diamond components, officially for industrial purposes. And in Israel, diamond sensors are being developed that can detect a terrorist tunnel one kilometer deep. Every country has realized that whoever brings diamond technology to mass, production will achieve superiority in all fields, from electronics to space travel. Rising. A typical iPhone gets extremely hot with heavy use, slows down its processor, and drains its battery more quickly. A gaming laptop weighs three kilograms, half of which is used for cooling. Diamond heat sinks the thickness of a human hair transform a smartphone into a device that stays cool all the time. The processor can operate continuously at full power, the battery lasts longer, and the chassis stays cool even under the most challenging conditions. Modern data centers and AI servers have become real energy hogs. Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI spend billions of dollars just to cool their supercomputers. Half of the total energy they consume doesn't go to processing power, but to air conditioning and cooling systems. Diamond heat sinks could reduce these enormous costs by three times. And here's where real science fiction becomes reality. Scientists recently discovered how to create tiny defects in artificial diamonds. They simply replace the carbon atom with nitrogen and leave a gap next to it. This creates a quantum sensor only a few atoms in size. Previously, measuring a very weak magnetic field required a room-sized laboratory, liquid nitrogen for cooling, and equipment costing millions of dollars. Now, a diamond chip the size of a fingernail performs the same task for $120. What does this mean? Medical devices capable of monitoring brain and heart activity without touching the body. Geological detectors capable of locating mineral deposits miles underground. Navigation systems that work in tunnels and underwater where GPS is of little use. The latest diamond technology is working wonders in medicine. A conventional surgical scalpel becomes blunt after just a few operations. A room-sized MRI machine produces blurry images. If the patient moves even slightly, titanium implants last only 10 to 15 years before they need to be replaced. Diamond blades cut tissue cleaner than any steel knife and remain sharp for years. Diamond components in MRI machines produce images of stunning clarity, allowing processes at the level of individual cells to be seen. Diamond-coated implants are biocompatible and last for decades without being rejected. In deserts, Solar cells become covered with sand and dust within a year, reducing their efficiency by a third. Diamond coatings completely solve this problem. The sand and dust simply slide off the cells without leaving a scratch. Diamond-coated wind turbine blades withstand hail, sandstorms, and salt spray. In nuclear power plants, Diamond radiation detectors are essential for safety and function for decades without replacement or recalibration. Let's take a closer look. What is already in use and what is planned? Diamond heat radiators are already used in military electronics, in places where conventional cooling is insufficient. They prevent overheating in high-power lasers and 5G base stations. Diamond-coated cutting tools have been used in industry for several years and can drill and cut for months without dulling. Quantum sensors on diamond chips are already in use in scientific laboratories around the world. In the next two or three years, diamond plates will be found in all our smartphones and laptops, thanks to a Korean method for rapidly producing diamonds. They are now highly affordable. All electronic devices will soon be more robust and lighter and will operate for years without failure or performance degradation. 
Composite armor with diamond layers is already being tested on military vehicles. Within five to seven years, large diamond plates for spacecraft and universal coatings for trains will follow. And airplanes. Diamond car bodies are still a dream for now, but scientists are likely to solve this problem within the next 10 years. And the most amazing thing is, all of this is happening simultaneously. Many breakthroughs are merging into a powerful wave, super hard diamonds in China, a rapid diamond growing method in Korea, and a huge demand for new technologies in electronics and aerospace. When this happens, a true technological collapse follows. Better cooling makes electronics more powerful. More powerful electronics opens up new horizons. Stronger materials make production cheaper. All of this works like dominoes. One thing triggers another. And most importantly, it's happening right now. Every week there are new developments, companies, and contracts. What was recently science fiction is becoming everyday technology right before our eyes. Your next smartphone will run faster and longer because it won't overheat as much. Cars will become much more reliable. Diamond coatings on critical parts will extend their service life several times over. Medical diagnostics will become more accurate. Diamond-enabled devices will make what was previously invisible visible. Public transportation will become faster and quieter. Airplanes will become safer and more economical. Space missions will become far more ambitious and productive. Military equipment will become virtually indestructible. But the biggest winners will be all of us, because better materials mean better technology, and better technology means better lives. Diamond technology opens horizons we never dreamed of. Diamond-shielded probes could fly much closer to the sun, into regions where any other equipment might melt. On Jupiter's moons, where radiation destroys electronics within hours, diamond-based spacecraft could operate for years. Mars rovers will withstand the dust storms that have destroyed all previous missions. With such indestructible armor, robots on Mars will operate for years without failure, laying the foundation for future human missions. On the moon, we will be able to build bases from materials immune to cosmic cold, meteorite impacts, and extreme temperature fluctuations. And the most fantastic prospect, flights to other stars. With diamond armor, spacecraft could fly for decades without failure. Humanity would finally have the opportunity to reach other habitable worlds. In our era, diamonds are no longer the limit of hardness and strength. They are now just the starting point. Chinese ultra-hard diamonds, Korean technologies and quantum sensors will soon change our world beyond recognition. We are on the cusp of an era when machines no longer break down. Electronics never overheat, and space travel will become as commonplace as air travel today. The diamond revolution has already begun, and soon it will change the lives of every one of us.